Hey guys, I'm Nancy. And I'm Stephanie. And if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. Well, today is a very special episode. Last night was Stephanie's very first ever South Park episode. She I've never has seen never the show. watched South Park. I've never seen this. I think I'm the only person on the planet probably. That I am a consistent fan. I've been a fan of the show since the beginning. I constantly go to her she and I try, I'll send her clips. I try to show her things like I saw a little bit of the Scientology one with Tom Cruise, but just clips. I, I never I saw mean, a full episode. Yeah. My episode, my personal favorite is Casa Bonita and I, and you never watched it. No. I keep saying and Lyscapate. Like the show is epic. Okay, I I I did see the movie though. Um, which what one? It, and everyone died of AIDS. Oh, that's Team America. Team, that's funny. And so this is the end of our story. And everyone is dead from AIDS. But I it saw wasn't, that. But it wasn't. Um, it wasn't the characters of South Park. It was the creators. No, no, no. Of South no it was Park. the creators, right? Yeah. South Park. If you don't know, the creators are Trey Parker and Matt Stone. And what I love about them, genius. They are so anarchy anarchist but not in the sense of like being annoying not in the sense of like antifa annoying like you know portland antifa no because that's not real no, anarchy. they're like us. they're like against um the norms of hollywood like i don't know if anybody remembers but they were nominated for a song they wrote called blame canada and they went to the oscars and Robin um, Williams. Robin Williams sang the song. Yeah. And they dressed up like Gwyneth Paltrow and, and Jennifer. Jennifer Lopez. And the funny thing, because they just didn't care. They didn't care that they were on their first was Oscar that, red was carpet. Was that the Oscars? That was the Oscars. Oh, so funny. They did not care. And they had um, dropped ecstasy in the limo before oh, they arrived. Sure and so is. the whole time they were on the red carpet, they just kept repeating what stars usually say. It's just such a magical evening and everyone, it's just everyone looks so spectacular. You know, we just wanted to be a part of it's it all. It's a night of magic. It's just so magical. We just want to stay in the magic of this night. Yeah, this they're night. just fun. It's just hilarious. I love them. I think they're great. They also wrote the Book of Mormon on the Tony Award for Best So Musical. controversial, but the, perfectly written. This is what I this is what I find great about Trey Parker and Matt Stone. They are so consistent and they never apologize. What I've noticed with this woke cancel culture is too many people apologize for things like that they have created in the past. That's their art. And Trey Parker and Matt Stone have never done that. And I think that's why South Park is so great and consistently funny. So I watched my first episode. Stephanie watched her first episode last Probably night. Probably will be my last. If you don't already know. I love them though. The episode was about Harry and Meghan, but they made them out to be the prince of Canada and his wife. And his wife. They never once acknowledged her existence. God, it was so bad that I fast forwarded the... No, I knew you stuff. would. That's why I, I did. know. I just put the Harry and Meghan. I stuff. purposely. I was gonna come over to Stephanie's house because I live next door, and I was gonna come over and watch it with her because I was like, "You're not gonna watch it without me." I know you're just gonna end up watching Real Housewives, yeah. and she's like, "No, I'm gonna watch it." And I'm like, "Okay." And I knew if I came over here, she would like do something, like just like not be interested. I watched it um, in bed alone with my dogs and I laughed my I watched it pants in, off. I watched it. Yeah. So the whole episode was called Worldwide Privacy Tour. Okay. And it starts off with the Queen's funeral. And I, Kyle's brother, is crying because the whole thing about Ike's history of why he loves um the Royals is he was born in Canada yeah. by accident. And so he, therefore, he's Canadian. So he's always affected by the royal. So he's crying and he's really upset. And then they actually have Megan and Harry coming down the aisle, but they're holding hands, of course. So Trey Parker and Matt they Stone, say, yeah. they don't miss anything in this episode. Say they say when they're walking down the aisle, they're like, they're getting like um, death stares, stares, or death stares from everybody. Um, and if anybody was like confused about the flatulence in Megan's Wait, face. What? The whole, the whole God, back. I know. So I don't want to say it because I don't know what I can say on YouTube. And I and well, my, I don't think you could say that. Our our mom actually brought us up to be ladies, believe it or not. That's and we were not. We were we were told not to say certain words. So why I would still you say this, that? Though I said flatulence. I didn't oh say the other word. God. I don't know how to I say it. I just Nancy. I hate that. I know you hate that Nancy. word. Terrence and Philip are cartoon characters from Canada that the boys like to watch, and their whole show is built on flatulence. Did you say they, fluffing? 
Okay, fluffing, I don't know. Or tooting? I don't know. My I just, I thought I hate I that word. I used to tell my kindergarten students to say toot. Say toot or something. Okay, I'm I just sorry. can't deal with that word. Okay, all right, we get it. I will say tooting from now on. I don't think I ever have to talk about it again. If okay, it's any but consolation. I just, I just can't stand it. I know you don't like that word. Anyways, they're holding You know what hands. else I don't like? I don't like panties, the word panties. I hate that freaking word. And the other word that I never use, what's the other word? You know this. Moist. Moist. I can't, oh my God. So we got flat, flagell. <laughs> We've got that. Uh, no, flagellants. I didn't think you. It no, was it's the, the F A R. Poor, yeah. yeah the, oh, you don't I like hate that, that four letter word. F A R T. Yeah. I can't stand. But you love the other panties and F moist. Word. <laughs> so they're walking down the aisle. And they're holding hands, of course. And then an Earl comes up and toots in Megan's face. Yeah, I didn't get that. But okay. it was still funny that yeah. a guy tooted in her face. So anyways, Kyle's trying to get the computer from Ike. Ike's not giving it up. So Kyle goes to school the next day and he's sitting in the cafeteria and he's like complaining to his friends uh -huh. um, that he was like, I'm sorry I couldn't log on to the game last night, guys, but Ike had the funeral on again. And um, then he started talking about the drama. He's like, I don't even know why uh, these the prince and his wife were there because all they do is bash the royal family. And the boys just do not care. They do not care. They act like when... I talk about this to my boyfriend. That's how the boys acted. That's true. He does not care. Yeah. But boy, will he hear it from me. Yeah. And I will go on for hours. Yeah. That's love. So Butters comes up to him and he goes, hey, you know, you could always change your brand. So already I see where this is going. Megan is the queen of branding herself yeah. and changing, and they're constantly changing their brand. They're constantly having to change their brand mm -hmm. because they're constantly screwing up and getting caught in lies and all this stuff. So he takes him to a brand expert management firm yeah. called Come Hammer Management. Yeah. So like he lists all the things that Kyle wants to be, but, but then at, at the, the end, end, victim. Victim. He's a thick skin, super cool, nothing bothers him, victim. Yeah, so that's everybody, you gotta be a victim. So anyways, that's that's like the side story. But then but then you get to a so uh, Canadian like talk that. show and Harry and Megan come out and they, they're like, we want privacy. We yeah, want. they have their sign. It, oh my God, Megan's accent. Her <laughs> Valley funny. Girl, California yeah, accent. Yeah. It's so awesome to be here, it's great. We just want to be normal people. All this attention is so hard. Uh, that's funny. Just like, we just want to be left alone. The Harry uh, is just awful. It sounds nothing like him. But having us on the show. Harry's on the uh, talk show to talk about his book entitled Wham. Wham. <laughs> and um, then the talk show host starts getting punchy with him and he calls, he calls Megan um, Harry's Instagram loving B wife. wife. And you know what the B stands for. I, we can't say it on YouTube. And he goes, hey, I can't believe they went that far with that. Oh, no. Though. I mean, they, they go get, further. They go They're like us. If you're for the royal family these days, you're sort of the anarchist now. You're sort of like against the establishment because like, what's wrong with the royal family? Well, you I see, don't hate Hollywood, dude. I, mean, I don't hate Hollywood either. But I'm that. telling you like where Matt Stone no, I and Trey Parker are But I mean, I, I, think, I think they're like us. I think they are... I, I, and they're I'm gonna, not woke. I, no, they're they're not woke, and they can say whatever the hell they want, Nancy. And you know they're that they're not afraid you're of acting, being canceled. That they're not afraid of being canceled. But you're you're acting like they're like these, you know, pro. I just know that like a these, lot. No, no, no. I never said that. I they're, said they're I know. average guys that do ecstasy in a limo. I, I mean, that's normal behavior. I that's Hollywood behavior. I Nancy. understand that, and I think the that's way you're cool. saying but it. But what the difference between them and Hollywood oh, now please. is they don't apologize for doing stuff. like Megan that. Megan and Harry are not uh, Hollywood, like Nancy. I never said they were. Okay. Okay. They're against Mar uh, Megan and okay. Harry. They're like, it's a journalist that do all this. And then the guy goes, but you wrote a book, so you're a journalist. And they're like, we're leaving. So they storm yeah. off. We want privacy. And they go and they take their private jet and they go to all these different places like the Taj Mahal. And they actually Paris, saw on Twitter, they, were, they, went, yeah, they went to Africa and they were just like... They weren't getting enough attention. Enough attention in Australia. In Africa. I mean, it's just they pushed the envelope on that so one. So then they finally find South Park. Across they, the street from the main guy. From Kyle. But they park their jet on their lawn. Yeah. And the drums. <laughs> and, and 
for some reason. For some reason, he said the guitar because he's playing the fake guitar in those pictures on Instagram. Instead of that, he comes out with a drum set. So Kyle's watching this, and all of a sudden, Harry starts playing the drums on the lawn, and, yeah. he, and then he gets mad at Kyle for staring at him. He's, he's like, like don't, "Don't you think we want privacy?" Yeah, I mean, the whole thing was hilarious. Like, so Nancy ridiculous. loves it. I, I, I find it amusing, but I don't go crazy over it because <laughs> I like South Park. I know she's a fan. Anyways. So then Kyle complains again to his, his friends the next day and his friends go, we didn't even notice you weren't there. And then he complains about the uh, prince and his wife and they're like, dude, we just don't care about some dumb prince yeah. and his stupid wife. So that started trending last night on Twitter. Yeah. I might have started it, but That's it was freaking hilarious. So then that night, Kyle's working on his brand, and then they just start lighting off fireworks. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. And Megan's got the megaphone. Yeah. Leave us alone. <laughs> and we she's like, we want crazy. This, this is, I mean, she goes crazy over this. It was I'm so trying to think of something that makes me laugh that hard. So then, then they cut to Kyle calling the police. And, they're, and, and the police officer already knows. He's like, oh, yeah, that, that prince and his wife that only want privacy. And then God, um, and that. then Kyle, I'm crying. What, over this South Park? And then so, Kyle. I think it's funny. And but, then oh Kyle my God. looks out his window again, and Harry's playing polo. He's got a horse. Yeah, that was funny. Around. I was going playing polo. It's funny. And then oh. Megan goes, Privacy is a basic human right. How many more princes and his wife have to go through this net net? But the way she said yeah, net net. Yeah, net oh my god, it's so funny. It's crying. <laughs> so anyways, he just he's over it. And his friends are over it. But Kyle's obsessed with it. And it's such a, a good commentary or analogy for what we have to go through. Because people go, well, why don't you just ignore them? We're trying to. Yeah, we are. We're Kyle. We feel like we are living if across the back street from new, them. If you go back to our New Year's video, we actually said we want a, a 2023 free. Yeah, Megan that's not going to happen. No, I'm just saying it's not like we we don't want to see them or hear from them. So then Kyle goes home, and this is the best part. They Harry and Megan taped all of Megan's magazine covers. Yeah. But whoever did the artwork on this episode was meticulous mm -hmm. on every single thing yeah, that she was has cut done. Magazine, oh that. my god and the memes last night on twitter yeah. you some of you guys you guys are fantastic at finding those magazine covers because i would have never been able to find those well done and if i use any of your memes well done on you. You guys are freaking awesome. You're better than me because that was God, hilarious. I'm excited over this. Kyle is like, I'm not going to give them a reaction. So you see Megan and Harry just like peeking out their Nancy's window. Nancy's dog is chewing on a... And they're like um, peeking out their window. And then Kyle turns his back. And Megan starts getting upset because it's kind of like no one's paying attention to her. He victimized me. It's because I'm an ethnic woman. He can't do that. I'll say, wait, you're ethnic? You're ethnic? You're ethnic? And then everybody freaked out over that on Twitter, too. They were like... So he goes, I'm going to show him my blue... Great. We'll just see how he deals with my blue penis. They Your went there. Pee -pee. They went there, guys. Yeah, they, they took what he said in the book. Remember when he had frost bite yeah, on his... Yeah, frozen todger. Todger. Yeah, we can say that. I think. Yeah, I think we can say frozen todger. So, but he said But blue. it was so... I mean, they he went up to the window then. He started smearing... I mean, he's, he put it up to the glass. I'm sorry, but I, and it was small. It went for like 60 seconds. It was so funny and was because so he's tiny. never going to live that one down. Because he, here's the thing, guys. He's he, never going to live that he down. He can't blame the press on this. He wrote this, okay? Say it, forget it, write it, regret it. Yeah. He wrote this down. It's done. It's done. Frozen Todger, okay? And if everyone's going to make fun of him for the rest of his life for that. That's never going to go away. It's and never going to... And he wrote it down. He wrote it down. You can't take it he back when it you down. write it down. So that was great. That went on for a long time. And Kyle's just playing a video game. Yeah, that was and he fun. can't even get okay. away from it. So Carrie and Megan there. need to change their brand again. And they put up the computer screen of what uh, she originally had. So she, she lists sorority girl, actress, influencer, and victim. And victim. But then in, in tiny little print, if you zoom in, 
It also says yoga, calligraphy, cuisine, cuisine, writing, lifestyle, advocating, acting, first lady botherer, lawyer pretending, blogging, feminism. That's so funny. Oh but my those God. in tiny print, you have to really look for that. The you have details. to be a super fan like Nancy. Yes, and I have no problem saying that. I love That's South That's fine. Park. I'm a I hope, I love that, that we got some new fans. Yeah. And hopefully you'll want to talk to me about South Park. Last week's premiere episode of the season was great. It was about Kanye. Oh, it was? It was I'm gonna watch oh my that. God, it I'll was so it. great. The end of the episode ends with no, Megan, no, they, Harry opening well, up. Well, no, he gives this whole speech about how everyone needs to be authentic and we don't need to brand and we don't have to be like Kardashians, blah, blah, blah. Does he call her Megan? I don't, I don't think it, and no, he never calls her. Remember. He's like, come on, wife. Or no, something the like only that. time no, he they goes, call her the wife. They goes, never yeah, acknowledge so her. So then he opens. He, she does not answer him. It's like a robot. So then he he opens up her her uh, mouth, and you just hear echoing like like she's down a tube. M she's an she's empty, an empty vessel, vessel. vessel, basically. And he leaves. She has no soul. So we're hoping. Oh my! I mean, there's hope. There and is it's hope. sweet. It's at the end. They play basketball, and then Harry goes, "Can I play?" And they're yeah. like, "Sure, you can." And then he brings out his drums, and he plays the drums instead of basketball. I thought that and was I cute. And I think the ending. They always do a really heartfelt, like, kind of message at the end. And the and I think the message was his Kyle's friends came to his door, said, "Hey, we can tell you're going through some stuff." You know, do you? Well, need that's what and William I think that's is, what yeah. William did with Harry, where he was like, "Look, look, uh, the doors always open. Doors open. Come play, come play basketball, come play with, with us." Yeah. yeah, because we obviously know who the problem is. It's Megan. This isn't Boo, uh, Christopher Boozy and this stuff. Uh, this whole like um, his theory that that there was a coordinated attack of a small number of people. No, the whole world knows now. Well, I find you got South Park doing it, buddy. I find it People interesting are, that sh her, the jig is up with her. Megan's done. I find it interesting that uh, Megan is uh, being targeted by the paparazzi and um, just like Princess Diana was. But we have absolutely no knowledge of where she is right now. No, there I has not been one picture. Because she isn't called. It's Montecito. There are no paps in Montecito. No, there's background, oh my though. goodness. Kardashian there are no. background. Yeah. So I immediately. Oh, she showed up at Ellen Ellen's party. Well, yeah, we, we talked about that. No, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, she'll show up anywhere. Yeah. I don't think she's being invited. So anymore. that was a funny episode. So that was a great episode. Well done to the creators. Well done to the uh, art department. Geniuses. But they're all. Comedic also geniuses. Comedic geniuses. Okay. And uh, they never apologize. She's obsessed with yeah. them, apparently. So when I watched this episode, it reminded me of the episode of Kate and William's wedding. And again, Stephanie's never seen that. I just saw the clip. It was cute. I will randomly. They love, they love her. For like 10 years, I've randomly just like walked past Stephanie. And I've been like, oh, what a wonderful day for Canada. What, what a wonderful, wonderful day, day for, for the, the world. world. And she never knows what I'm talking well, about. Well, I say it now because you said it so But she'll times. just start saying it. Trey Parker and Matt Stone love making fun of Canadians. They'll have to wear these stupid fake glasses so they look Canadian. <laughs> I love just their use of makeup too to like, okay, how do we look like stupid Canadians? It's just something they like to do. And Canadians love that they make fun of them. So the whole episode is them. The Prince of Canada is marrying the soon-to-be Princess of Canada. And they turn the whole episode into a Super Mario Brothers. But the way they portray Kate is, you know, she's this beautiful. Oh, isn't she a vision of mine? And she's really hot in the face. They love it's funny. And then they make fun of ca uh, Canadian traditions like the pudding and everything. So people were bringing, I brought up that episode. I said, look how they portray Ka Princess Catherine as opposed to Megan. She gets kidnapped by King Koopa and she's like the princess in Super Mario Brothers. And they, Ike has to go um, find her and save her and, and hilarity ensues. But everyone's so upset that the princess got kidnapped and it was just such a bad day. And at the end, the creators make fun of a rumor that went around with Prince William. And I had to look this up because my mind is not in the gutter like the Sussex squad, okay? I had to look up what pegging meant. I had no idea what it meant, but the hashtag Prince of Pegging, I would just always ignore it. Creators decided to take a rumor about Prince William and create satire about it and make a joke about it. If somebody did that to me, if there was a really weird rumor going around about me and they wanted to make fun of it, I really wouldn't care. There's a difference, Sussex Squad. What they did last night was they took the truth. They truth bombed the crap out of Meghan and Harry. 
And did they truth bombed the, what see, the world okay, thinks of them. Did you see the Tyler Perry meme though? That was so funny. Oh they yeah, show, yeah, yeah. They show they show Tyler Perry. They're like Tyler Perry watching South Park right now because here's the thing: South Park is so. Uh, they've what's made the fun word? of Oprah. They've well, made no, fun what, of what, what uh, is it? what they're very they're mainstream. They're gen that's what I'm saying. They're very mainstream. So so everyone, including people like me, are they're gonna watch it. Yeah. Mom watched it. They're gonna it. watch little clips here and there. So it's very mainstream. So people like Oprah right now are feeling like an idiot. People like Tyler Perry well, they've made feeling like an idiot. They've done an episode with Tyler Perry and Oprah. Making fun That's of what I'm So saying. watch that one too. Funny. If you want to give to a great rescue group, please give to Miracle German Shepherd Dog Rescue of Maine. They take a lot of dogs out of the New York City shelters that are on the kilt list. So they're really great. Miracle German Shepherd Dog Rescue of Maine. If you have a couple bucks, be great. If not, just share their link to people. Thank you. Thank you for indulging me on this episode. Yeah, she's um, a super fan. Yeah. I'm a super fan. Yeah. We will be back soon, and thanks for watching, and thank you, South Park. Dumb Prince and Stupid Wife is currently trending on Twitter. It's funny.